What is going on guys? Welcome to your 37th chemistry tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about combustion reactions. Now this is typically the reaction you get whenever you think of fuels and gases. Basically the key thing to remember is whenever you have a combustion reaction one of the things it produces is heat. Now the formal definition I guess you could say is a compound that combines with oxygen and now this oxygen is typically just the oxygen in the atmosphere and it produces heat so remember we said whenever we have a chemical reaction that produces heat it's called exothermic so let's go ahead and take a look at an example say we have a couple hydrogens and we combine them with a couple oxygens we would end up with a couple water molecules and aside from that we would get a byproduct of heat I guess that's my heat symbol right there. So if we balance this equation, you can see we have four hydrogens on this side, two oxygens, so we are good to go. So again, if we take a look at the ingredients needed to produce a combustion reaction, we have oxygen that our compound can combine with, and also heat. That's probably the most important thing you can take away from this tutorial. Every time you have a combustion reaction, it produces heat, which would make it an exo thermic chemical reaction. Now remember the alternative to that is endothermic which means a chemical reaction that absorbs heat or absorbs energy. But these chemical reactions are exothermic. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more example and we'll go ahead and balance this equation properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at, I think I'm saying this right, naphthalene. I don't know how to say it but uh, it's the it's the compound that you find. They use it whenever they make mothballs. I know that. That's just a nice little tidbit of information. You guys don't need to remember that at all. But anyways, the chemical formula for that is C10H8. And we're going to go ahead and combine this with, wow, that's a really odd looking plus sign. Combine this with like some oxygen, 12 molecules. That'll balance nicely. Now, whenever we combine these, we get 10 molecules of CO2 and also we get some water molecules H2O and heat and draw my nice little heat symbol by the way that is not the technical heat symbol you can just write heat or you can leave it out some people even leave it out whenever they're writing chemical reactions but I like to draw that nice little heat cloud so anyways let's go ahead and take a look and make sure we have everything needed for a combustion reaction we have oxygen. Now this oxygen is typically provided by just the atmosphere just because in the air there's a bunch of oxygen so you don't need to like buy it from a store or anything. And you also have the byproduct of heat. So that would make this a combustion reaction. Now if we go ahead and balance this baby we can see that there are three types of uh, elements on the left hand side. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. You have 10 carbon, 8 hydrogen, and 24 whoa whole lot of oxygen there so now let's go ahead and do the same on the right hand side and make sure we didn't mess up carbon let's see we got 10 hydrogen let me count these up 8 now oxygen if we take a look at we got 20 from here we got 2 molecules times 10 that would be 20 and over here we got 4 so 24 total so if we go ahead and balance this baby okay 10 8 and 24 we are good to go so again just remember these are called combustion reactions and combustion reactions use oxygen and have heat as a byproduct which would make it exothermic chemical reactions so anyways that's all you get for this tutorial I know that uh, you know didn't really learn anything new just a couple of new terms but the next tutorial I'm gonna be jam-packing you with a bunch of information so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later